Kathy Vidal at MyStampingSpot.com, coming to you with Thankful Thursday. So, I was trying to think of, you know, all the nice little things that people do for us and how we can thank them. And um, I looked to my catalog on page 137 and I zoned in on this and I zoned in on that because I happened to make chocolate chip cookies this weekend and as you can see they were a huge hit because there's only three left <laughs> so we are going to use special moments for a greeting this is a gorgeous grape it's that beautiful sheer ribbon this is from the Celebration Bundle, um, Oh Hello, it's the stamp set with the pretty bird and the floral. I actually used the flowers the other day, I think on a 10 minute Tuesday. I think this color is Highland Heather, but I kind of thought this matched it okay. I do have Highland Heather ribbon, but I liked the sheer. And then we're going to use these 6x8 cellophane bags. I used to use these all the time in my card kits. And I stopped using them because it was so much waste. Um, so I want to find another use for them. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do... Oh, and we are going to use this um, delightful tag topper punch. First thing I'm going to do is just cut a two-inch strip for my tag topper punch. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Hey, Linda, how are you? I'm not sure how long it's going to be, so I'm just going to leave it a big strip. Now, these bags are 6 by 8, so I'm going to cut a piece of DSP at roughly just under 6 inches so that it fits in there nice. I'm going to do about 5 and 7 eighths. I'm doing good today. It's nice here in the Northeast, Linda. Is it cold in New York? It's, um, it's a little windy, but... That's okay. I think we're going to get worse winds later. Now, I am actually, I'm going to cut this at three inches wide because I think that's about how big my cookie is. And it's a totally different pattern on the other side. And not that I don't think that the pink, ma the purple, pink, the purple matches with that green. Um, but I am going to kind of double layer this. Two purposes. One, it will be a little sturdier. Put my cutter away. It'll be a little bit sturdier, but also then the purple will show no matter which side you're on. Okay, let me grab my adhesive. I'm sorry, I left it on my table. So I'm just going to put these together. Nothing fancy. 48, but pouring since last night. Melted tons of snow. Yeah, we're expecting rain here, I think, tonight. And I am going to pop this in this bag, and hopefully... Five and seven eighths was a good measurement. Oh, look at that. It was five and seven eighths. So five and seven eighths. Put that in there. Like that. Uh, we're going to take two of those very yummy cookies. There's only three left, so someone's getting them. I think, I think only two will fit. That's what I'm going to shoot for. Plus two is a good serving. I love chocolate chip cookies. Maybe a little too much. Maybe that's why the container's almost empty. I'm just saying. May or may not have been me who ate more than my fair share. And then I am just going to fold this over like this. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of adhesive just to hold it closed. And I need my ribbon. And a pair of scissors. And all I'm going to do is make it super simple. I'm just going to tie a bow right around the center. Now, I could do like gift packaging and go this way and then this way, but I'm just going to keep it really simple. Just enough to hold the package closed. Like this. I'm going to trim that off. I love this ribbon. It's so easy to work with. It's beautiful. And it ties a really nice bow. All right. I am first just going to tie a knot to hold it closed. My fingers don't seem to be working yet. It's not that early. I don't know why they're not working. Okay. So I'm just tying a knot. 
Now we're going to go back to my white strip. I'm just going to put this in. Top that off like that. And I pulled out this special moment set. This is a free set with celebration. Um, I couldn't wait for a special occasion. Uh, the thing I like about you is everything. Good luck. Just a little hype from me. It's okay to feel the feels. Hang in there. Thanks. I think I'm going to do I couldn't wait for a special occasion. Now these clear stamps, you know, sometimes they're hard to find. So you're going to have to bear with me for just a minute. I should have pre-pulled it if that was the one I was going to use. Well, let's see. Oh, here we go. Found it. Now I am going to do the Highland Heather ink. And I'm going to stamp it right on my little... block. I mean on my little tag. I'm going to put it at an angle because it's likely the tag's going to be at an angle. So I'm going to just kind of, geez, this almost doesn't look dark enough, but we're going to see. Hey Adrian, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, so now I feel like this needs a little something else. I'm going to trim this right down here. And you know what? I'm going to grab that little friendly hello stamp set. That goes with the DSP that I'm using. And I think I'm just going to pop some little flowers or, um, ooh, I think I'm going to do some of these little dots. How about that? And maybe some of those little green sprigs. So let me see. I think this has granny apple green in it clearly. So I'm going to do the sprigs and granny apple green. Put my stamp there. I'm going to put this underneath so I don't accidentally stamp on my... Let's see. I think I will go... I need a different color. There we go. I'll go kind of off the paper like this and I think I'm going to use a darker purple like, oh gorgeous grape let's try gorgeous grape and do those little dots with the gorgeous grape I don't really need all these inks but I just think it'll just add a little something to the tag like that, maybe coming in here a little bit, like that. What do you think? Do you like it? All right, gorgeous crib. Oh, Adrian, don't work too hard. Thanks for tuning in while you're at work. All right, I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to thread this through, and then we're just going to tie a bow, and I think it will be a nice little gift as a little thank you. There's plenty of people in life to be thankful for. Co-workers and friends and mailmen and delivery guys. Those Amazon guys that are always at our house. Um, your teacher, your child's teacher. You just want to send a little something in without it being big and showy. Just thoughtful. <clears throat> 2022 for me, is the year about giving back and being thoughtful. There we go. What do you think? Cute, right? Do you like it? All right. That's all I have for you. Again, five fifty, and you get 50 of these. That's a pretty good deal. You could make a lot of those for $5.50. All right. I just want to show you one thing. With a $35 purchase, if I can find them. My desk looks like a bomb went off. I knew I brought them over here. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the palm cards. Oh, I guess I didn't bring them over here. Thanks, Joelle. As usual, Joelle saved me. Um, these paper snips, if you own them, please be careful. I just caught my finger. So, please be careful. 
These kits are all ready to be addressed and go in the mail. Thanks, Nora. Um, this is that beautiful pool party glitter paper that's in the catalog, and it has the little stones in it. Everything, I have embossed it, um, and it's hard to tell here, but I did emboss the palm tree leaves. Maybe you can see it there. Um, so you get everything to make one of those, everything to make one of these. Now, I use blending brushes. You could use a, um, a sponge to do this. This is um, the palm bundle, but you do not need the stamp set. You can use any dies that you wish. I mean, not dies. Any stamps you wish for the greetings. These can be made. This is the New Horizon paper. That's beautiful. You don't even have to do anything with that. It'll all be cut, scored, die cut. You get all the little bling. You'll get these four cards, instructions, envelopes. If you spend $35 prior to shipping and handling and you use this host code. So these are all cut and ready to go in the mail today. So if you make a purchase, you'll get one of these. Use that host code. All right. Thanks, ladies. I hope, um, hope you have a great weekend. It's going to be warm here in the Northeast. I hope you all have a warm weekend. And I hope warm doesn't equal mud season. Thanks so much. I'll see you Monday for Make It Monday. Bye.